authorized. Shut rise. Awakening the instincts of two beasts long lost. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Anas Rizo. So as you guys saw in the intro just now, we have here SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Authors Vulcan from Bandai and this is from the uh, uh, Kamen Rider 01 series, alright? And then uh, I just received this a uh, few hours ago and I would like to say thank you to my seller uh, from Kota Kecik Jepun. Alright, I bought this from the page of Kotak Kecik Jepun and uh, if you guys would like to buy any items, especially from Japan, you guys can check it out on the Kotak Kecik Jepun. I put the link in the description below, the Facebook page and also the Instagram. Uh, and Kotak Kecik Jepun is actually uh, a personal shopper page and the owner for the page or the owner of Kotak Kecik Jepun is a lady from Malaysia uh she's she i mean she lives in the she lives in japan and uh she doing all these uh, personal shopper things all right so uh i call her cut night all right thank you so much cut night so uh if you guys would like to purchase any item from japan especially toys or figure arts uh, especially for the uh, premium bandai version you can check it out on the kotak kajik japan page all right so here we have camera the ultras vulcan and i will unbox this and we will see what's inside the box and as you guys can see uh, by yourself uh, this ultras vulcan is actually really really similar with a kamen rider uh, vulcan assault wolf all right so we're gonna check it out on the comparison between those two and uh, we will see what's the difference between these and the assault wolf all right without further ado Next time, box this Ultras Vulcan. Let's go. Okay, I have unboxed the figure. So we have here Kamen Rider Ultras Vulcan right here with us. So this Kamen Rider Ultras Vulcan, you can see he's the exact same figure as Kamen Rider Vulcan Ultras. Uh, sorry, Kamen Rider Vulcan Assault Wolf. All right. So the same figure except this Ultras Vulcan uh has the different uh, pin application on the his uh, armor and also his helmet over here you can see on his eyes he has like a wolf uh, teeth i guess uh those triangle tiny things right i think it's a teeth of a wolf right to symbolize the wolf uh for this uh, Arthurus Vulcan and he also doesn't has the uh assault trigger on his shot riser or uh, with or on his uh progress key okay so uh, the rest is the same uh form I can say it's just that with a different pain application okay so uh just a uh, trivia or some info about this form okay this form uh, i think only appeared in the uh, last episode or second last episode of uh, kamen rider zero one and his debut only in one episode okay uh, some people call that this is like an uh, extra final form for kamen rider vulcan but uh, Mm, for me, I guess it's not really that powerful form as uh, Kamen Rider Vulcan the Rampage uh, form. Uh, I think Rampage form is the uh, most powerful uh, Vulcan uh, form. But uh, this one probably the second uh, powerful uh, between all those uh, Vulcan forms. I'm not so sure about that. But uh, for this form, it's actually the combination of uh, Vulcan or the short riser from Kamen Rider Vulcan. And also the progress key is actually uh, from uh, Kamen Rider Naki. Right? Uh, in this series, 
Kamen Rider Naki actually provide him uh, the progress key uh, for him to transform to Kamen Rider Ultra's Vulcan. All right. Once he used the progress key uh, and put inside his shot riser here, and then he become this Ultra's Vulcan. So basically, uh, yeah, that's about the. Uh, info about this form all right and you guys can see the design of this form is exact same form as camera the vulcan assault wolf all right uh, for the articulation of this uh, sh figure arts common rider vulcan ultra ultra vulcan uh, is i think is the same exact uh, sh figure arts articulation okay you have the uh, ball joint on the head here Okay, you can turn it around, uh, swivel it around, whatever you like. And on his uh, hand over here, okay, you can uh, turn the 60 degree rotation over here, okay. And he has the uh, bicep swivel as usual, right? This bicep swivel, and he has the uh, double jointed elbow, supposed a double jointed elbow, but because of this armor. It kind of uh, it's a little bit hinder the movement, so you can't really get the full double jointed elbow for this figure. Okay, and on his uh, chest part over here is uh, normal. You can just swivel it around on the upper torso and on his waist. Also, you can uh, crouch him until I think this far. Let's see, not that far. I think. Okay, so until this far, okay, he can bend down, okay, and he can look up until this far. Alright, so on his leg, uh, I think it's a usual articulation for SH figures, okay, he can, he has actually the uh, dub, uh, drop down method over here, okay drop the method and uh, a tie swivel okay a tie swivel over here uh, double jointed knee as usual for all sh figures all right so double jointed knee like this okay so on his uh, toe over here of course he can uh, move his Toe, all right his toe actually has some articulation okay a toe articulation and of course his ankle also can uh, rotate and whatever you like for him to uh, have a better stand when uh, he can I mean he can stand by himself uh, better with this uh, ankle movement over here so he can't really falling down okay look at that he stands quite well all right so that's about the articulation for this Kamen Rider Vulcan or Autorus Vulcan so uh, let's check on the accessory for this figure okay so these are all the accessories and weapon that comes together with Kamen Rider Autorus Vulcan we have uh, the uh, four sets of swappable hands and of course the main highlight is his claws over here. We have the uh, normal long claw and the uh, short version. There's only one piece of the claw which is the short version claw where you can attach on his uh, hands. Alright, so let's check on the claw how can you actually swap the uh, claw into his hand so it's really really simple right you just take this piece out right so you can just take this out like that right so you guys can see so right then you just take the claw I think this is the one right so we just take it and put it inside that's all so this is how you can uh, attach the core uh, into his arm it's really really easy you do not have to take out his hands or whatsoever 
we just take out the piece uh, armor piece right there and you are good to go with his claw over here so for the for the uh, short claw you need to take this one out this piece over here the long uh, claw and then you can attach this one on this uh, part all right so it's really, really simple and easy so other than that about the accessory of course his a uh, short riser over here you guys can take it out and he can hold his short riser and of course this short riser comes with right the uh, progress key for ultras falcon let's check and let's check them out uh, it's really, really tiny and it's really, really hard to take it out let me see yes i got it so yeah this is the same uh progress key as uh, kamera naki all right uh as usual if you guys would like to have more details on the progress key they are third party company or third party uh uh maker that they actually make the uh sticker for you to to uh, apply it on this progress key to make it more detailed as in the uh, tv series all right so for bandai they only come out like this without any details on the progress key so yep that's all about Kamen Rider Vulcan especially for the accessories and then uh, let's check on the uh, comparison between this uh, Kamen Rider Ultras Vulcan and uh, Kamen Rider Vulcan Assault Wolf and also Kamen Rider Naki let's go okay so here we have the comparison between Kamen Rider Ultras Vulcan and also Kamen Rider Vulcan Assault Wolf wolf so you guys can see as i told you just now they are the exact uh, same figure or exact same form it's just that they have a different uh, color or pin application on the helmets and of course in with their body parts or body armor and of course for the ultras vulcan he came with his uh weapons over here which is the same weapons as uh Kamen Rider Naki over here alright so you can see it's the exact weapon as Kamen Rider Naki so basically what I can say about this Kamen Rider Ultras Vulcan is actually the combination of Kamen Rider uh, Vulcan Assault Wolf and also Kamen Rider Naki because as we know that Kamen Rider Naki actually provide him the uh, progress key the Japanese wolf progress key and he use it with his uh, short riser and he become Kamen Rider Ultras Vulcan so it's the exact uh, same design but with this different uh, pin application and also with the extra weapon so you can see basically they are the same figure this is the uh, Assault Wolf right and as I told you that Assault Wolf has this uh, translucent part on his uh, chest over here Right, and for the uh, Ultras Vulcan, he doesn't has. Wait a minute. Oh, he has. Sorry, he has a translucent part too. All right, but you can't really see it because this really a uh, transparent color, so it's not like the uh, uh, Rider Vulcan Assault Wolf, which is the uh, pink color over there so basically okay he has the same body uh, part body armor it's just this different color so basically the whole thing about this ultras falcon is just the color of pin application different with Kamen Rider Falcon Assault Wolf so yeah that's all about the comparison between these two and the, about the uh, review for Kamen Rider Vulcan uh Autros Wolf, alright, Autros Vulcan. So I'm gonna see you guys again next time uh, with more uh other figures or with other unboxing figures. 
uh, thanks again for watching and do subscribe my channel for more content and if you like this video do hit the like button down there and you if you guys have any comments just uh, type in the uh, comment section below and i will try my best to reply all of you all right thank you very much to all of you stay safe stay healthy catch you guys again next time bye bye take care ciao